Timelang Rale Amohela Lenanong Liling La Talk SA, the traveling talk show that ensures that when we come to your community, we find the answers to what is troubling us as South Africans. Kajano Ritla Holona Relit Lip Down, Walter Sisulu Square, Molong Horka 1955, but to buy 3,000 Bakopanimo, Hotobana Freedom Charter Hane Isai Niwa. Kajano Rina Leba, Chaba Chaba Long Horbana Lintuzenga, Tazeza Halang Mapilong Abone, Freedom Charter Eo Enabu Waka Horba Chaba, Reba Tusa Juang. Kajoku Waka Youth Development, Lo Horma Tata Aba. Within the communities, so na kina linta te long koro tlabe abuwa lena ki Patrick Lee Golden, who is the founder of Tag Recovery Home, atlo ruble lo horie na mo trip down weza ing musebizi wabach. Patrick, welcome to Talk SA. Welcome to Clipdown, K. Okay? Patrick, what would you say are the most prevalent issues facing the young people of Clipdown today? Okay, we have many issues that we, that we need to address in Cliptown and Royal Park. But the most pressing issues, I would say, is obviously a lack of youth and skills development, a lack of recreation, recreational facilities for the guys in, in, in Cliptown and Royal Park, uh, substance abuse and alcohol abuse. What would you say are the programs that have been put in place to help these young people? Okay, there are quite a few initiatives, but it's not very known. That's why we're busy compiling a... a, a a database where we'll have all these NGOs that provide these services compiled onto one list and be accessible to the community and people as in general. Now Patrick and I will be continuing this discussion in our mobile studio where we'll get together Luwane Motsu wa clip down rotlo khono ra rola ditaba tsa batho ba community ngena a re yeng. Welcome. Welcome, sister. Thank you Yes. Yes. I was 15 years. Uh, I didn't listen to my parents when they tried to give me advice. Uh, and Gikale Nama Begu into Yang Ama weekends. Begu into Yama weekends, Noba, Bonis, Cates, Ningi, Laubus, Tolo, Wuti, Auna, Nixo, Yenzai. Yes, Nama weekends, Beng and Ziluto, cause the Beng in a cellar, Prali, named Sebens, a scolding, I in Zingi, Gishanganis and Abantabaro. And you have a son who was using drugs? You have another son who unfortunately took his life. Just take me through what was going through your children's lives at the time. I saw no way to forget me. My son had had a step to be aware of God. So I clearly got fat at him. Fat and sad. So so much more sense. Fat and sad. We for on try is to dance alone. Stero. And I get to what it for clear to go. And my son had said, "I will not give him." I be older than five and twenty. And 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 and. Je, je, je kan niet vaststellen. Die vraag komt altijd, hoe komt het mij? Ik heb een andere mens. So do you think that maybe you felt that you weren't there for your child at the time? Oké, okay, uh, op het einde van die dag kan, kan, kan jij als ouder niet alleen geblameerd worden. When, wat ik mijn zin verloor het, wat ik zijn leven geneem het, het ik nooit vragen vragen. Want ik heb altijd gedacht, ik moet sterk is voor die gemeenschap omdat ik een gemeenschap activist is. Die tijd dat ons onze vrijheid krijgt en die, 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 die boundaries breekt tussen die politie en die gemeenschap. Ik was die eerste ene wat die advantage gevat het om, om een paard en paasel te worden van die gemeenschap polisvorm. Zoals so tijd aangegaan het, het jij als een persoon maar net gedank als een ma, als een aangeziende vrouw in die gemeenschap, als een kerksvrouw, moet, moet, jij mag niet heel niet. 
our time is really running out, but what I love from your story is the strength and the dedication that you give, not just from what happened to your children, but also how you give it back to the community. Yes. And we really, we really applaud that in you. And also, when I was talking about the story, I was talking about some men, but I was including many. How many people are leading organizations within the communities? So, when you talk about the extramural activities, by you keep up busy, do you think the situation so when would have been different? Yeah, the situation so when they talk about matata, when they talk about the robbery, na ko inga tabana ba ba lilira modi trating uban ba soka chuso ene utolo na ko ngu ba zwa di ba bona ba bang ba zuba di riti ba zi ba bang eh ba riki saka milia bona so na ko inga tabana ba dula ba li bang usina ba zuba ba soko melang jana ka misebeti isio so unota ba biti rehai be una ni di like it's at the mobile young thing or like body after care leading to our by 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 fits in a coyabo now more has basai school like had you call it equates who will lead you like a mobile on our by keep the busy moving oh puma wakuma drugs we go p utile group on it and what advice would you have for um you know what 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 you Usizola penil tole kona ise take recovery home. They are they are very working. Now I am clean for three months. Oh, nana. I'm growing spiritual and mental and physical. The drug is not alive. It's dead. It's you. You make it alive when you. Amanda pumagu. Amanda pumagu. Ungawazu pila ngapanje kwazi tega mizunde etinga gala uwe keepa busy e e ingani nze skole ngaba advisor ngako uglalela abazalba bo ngama weekend ibe keepa busy maybe sports soccer or go to library to keep them busy. Hmm. Ligutwe tu koma hai ngeri wale ba tu ba le ngore ba one kapa ba na ba ba one ba kopa neli kodi kahore na ko inga ater nanglo ne muma keshini ngempa resna di program seka ritu sang dula le rona as after the break rotlo ba li di NGO zetu rujwe sang hantle kahore ki ingse reka se sang kahone modi community ingse rona kutu sabat chaba na ukawa le rona hape ko Facebook orble le kahore wena community nyaha ki ingse sa halang se kutu sang kahore uzwe strateng rotlo ba na haru sabat. Peterel amohele hape ho toke se ka jeke bua ka batsha le ditseletse re ka ba thusang ka tsone gore maphelo a bone a tsweletse go pele hona jwane ke na le batho ba leng gore ba sebeletse di NGO ba thusa bone ba tsha bana go tshola di skills gore ba tle gona go tshola misebetsi gore maphelo a bone a be hona jwale ke na le me o leng gore ke Cheryl Pile and o zwa ko comeback mission ke na founder ya teng welcome to toke se thank you so much for having me here it's an absolute pleasure. Renali, Queen and Patel, Otswanko Joburg, Child Welfare, welcome to Tokyo. Say, get a little woman and I will see. Repeater, I'm Hele Happen, that Patrick Golden, who is the founder of Tag Home Recovery, welcome again to Tokyo. Thanks for having us, Kat. Now, I'll start with you. What is the comeback mission all about, and how do you assist young women within the community of Clip Down? Okay, Comeback Mission is basically a program that does with re recovery, but we have a centre for women which is called the Hadassah Centre for Women. I think you will know that um, if you look at recovery, um, there's a difference between the males and the females programmes that you need to have. Okay. Um, males would be doing things externally to feed their habit, where women would basically use the one thing, which is their body, to feed the habit. So the, the trauma and, and, and the program is different for males and females. And so we started the program called the DASA Centre for Women, where we take women in for six months. Queen, I want to come to you and the Joburg Child Welfare. What programs do you put in place to help these young people in order to get skills, upskill themselves, and remove them from the Ntotetza Halang within the community? Zabon? Take a project. We long or receive a cab and have a just go long. Um, Rebafa the services is daily meals, activities such as sports and art and recreation. 
re ba thusa ha pele ka di homework ka ba tsa skolong mo ileng hore re dumela re bana ba ba ngata ba siya ba tlohetse ke ba tswa di ba bang ba bona ba mesebetseng ba bang ba bona ba ka hara di activities se leng hore ka nnete ha bana re ba ka di tlohela em parle jo be tshalo wa fe maiki mise tsa rona a maholo ko re tlo se bana di trateng re ba fe se leng hore ba se hloka o itse khwini o o re se point e leng hore e bo tlhoka ga gholo go bapala gwa bana ko strateng the way ne re bapala ka teng ha ne re gola go bo tlhoka ga kana kana ya ka o tshore bana ba hona tshi ba golela mo tv ba sheba di tablet ba sheba di lotseleng gore ha ba tshwanela go bo tlhoka ka tsela e makatsang ka bakala re itusa the their development how long wana you go through the developmental stages so i think ha ke lebeletse ka tsela he wetsalang ka teng through the social media sledi tv those stages had you apply mara rile child welfare ya tsi war from age 3 to 6 ke tse fin di papa tse leng hore di tshwanetse bana mm patrick i want to come to you and the work that you do within the community of clipdown and you focus primarily on addictions and helping young children to recover a majority of the young people that walk through your doors what would you say is one common factor amongst all of them except for the fact that they're struggling with these drugs okay except for the fact that they're obviously struggling with drug addiction cat uh just to give you a brief overview of what we do it's a men's home uh and the program we run is called celebrate recovery because in addiction you don't have much to celebrate you know it's all destruction and just the sadness that goes with it so we bring you in and you celebrate recovery it's a six month program and the guys that come through what we see the most common denominator is the fact that we lack recreational facilities and obviously after care and when i say after care after school uh guys that are unemployed we need to have them skills to to have skills developed in in for these guys that are unemployed and and obviously suffering from addiction. Mm. So recreational activities is a big factor that we are missing within our communities in which we need to impart on the young people in order for them to find whatever skills and things that they're interested in. I want to open it up to the very community that we are speaking about. What are the questions that you would have or some of the things that you would give us solutions in order for us to find a way within our communities that we can upskill our young people. Starting with the gentleman right here. My name is Ashley Graham. Um, ek wil graag weet uh, van Patrick of Golden um, wat gebeur met iemand of die persoon wat klaar is met die program um, hou jy in kontak met die mens of weet jy nog wat gaan aan in hom lewe en wanneer is nou klaar met die program met die program ek wil graag weet wat gebeur met hom as hy mos nou terug huis toe gaan of hy gaan nou terug in die wêreld in So Ashley is asking a question in terms of the rehabilitation of the people back into the community. I'm going to give that one to you Patrick. What happens after life after tag? That is a good question because after tag what we ideally hope for is we busy partnering up with companies and different businesses where we can have them skilled in obviously whatever they're passionate about. So programs like these are awesome for us because we can appeal to companies and 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 businesses to partner with us so we can skill these guys up. All right, putso ya rona engwe e tswa kontate ku pobo e le bitsola ha o le putso ya ha. Lena la ka ke matome. Ya putso e ke nang le yona gore na go ka diriwa ene gore go bana le di after care program ja baswa especially baswa ba leng from 18 years above. Ba ba ka khona o gratuito ka ba itswa ko skolone. Wan baswa ba ba ngata ha ba gratuito ba itswa ko skolone ba tshika tshika go straighten a ba na le motho a ba tlokometseng. Ra le bo ga papa o skwini ke tla ila tlhela mo wena putso ena because Luna as an organization le shebile ba ba nyane. But a buti wa botso re ba leng gore ba ba gole 18 and above baileng gore bana le batswa di bana le magae empa le bone they still need that after care go tsiwang ka bana bao rile child welfare le belletse horeng bana ha ba exit ba tsa mo programong ya rona ya bana gore ba tlamele ba e ko di developmental centers and a program engwe e setseng re tsa di le er tlabeng re launch on the 1st of december ke gelier date este mo leng gore tla be re thusa bana ba rona ba leng gore ba phasitse di thutso tsa bana tsa mare matlo gore ba gone registera ho di university su di colleges gore se ka ba rashebella mo nana fela gore ba ko di high school ba ko mo di primary school le gore ba di thute ho tswela pele ho ba ni thuto ka nete ke le sedi botso ya rona ya bofelo etswa ko abuti please tell us your name and your question hi my name is Leroy van Ros uh, and my my vraag is man is a doel wat ons kan bereik vir ons gemeenskap na hierdie program. 
Thank you, Leroy, for your question. Cheryl, I'm going to give that one to you, but also just to add on to what Leroy is saying, because as Talk SA, as a program, our intention is to move within all communities and let us talk about issues, because issues that are happening in El Dorado Park and in Clipsprate or in Clipdown are same issues that are happening in Limpopo, in Durban and in Cape Town. So what's the good of us discussing these things as a nation? I think the importance is to discuss, to continually discuss that because there's someone out there that feels there's no hope. So having a program like this brings hope, hope to the community. Seeing you guys all sitting here, all coming from recovery is a positive for someone else out there. And people can say, if you can do it, I can do it. So we need to continue with positive programs like this, saying that there is hope. Um, sometimes the a lot of the programs just brings out negativity, but today we want to say you can get up, there's hope, there's, there, there's programs around, um, together we make a difference. I think the important thing is about paying it forward. If you have come through a program and you know that that program works, your responsibility is to pay it forward for someone else. Take somebody else by the hand Absolutely. and help them to get the same kind of help. solutions to the youth development program Welcome back to the final part of Talk SA Kajekuru Wakaba Acha, Lidi Development Program, Selling Deng Huba Tu. So, Hona Joale, rejoining Waki Skype expert Yarona Masaku Kozi, Oleng Horki Project Manager Kojobek Child Welfare. Masaku, welcome to Talk SA. So, Masaku, first of all, government Dieta in Hutusa Bacha in terms of having show Hor Hona Lidi programs, Seba Tusan Horba Konohot or Labit? I would say they are trying. But the way the demand is great, it's not enough from their side. I think Rona really show no lohobani government resets really more system in your high who are a supporter in terms of our progress. However, supporter Fumanang, it doesn't cover the whole budget Rona for the year. So we have to also fundraise. So it's not only the government's role. Really, the corporate, the uh, individuals in the communities with government. Because the government So, Lona Lily Jobek Child Welfare, or Gary Cost, Yahorana, such an aftercare center. Kibukai, Hilo Horona Limoto, Elon Horilena, Obatla Hutusa. What does it take in order for you to put together the funds that Hutusa batch? Budget Yarona is in excess of three million. However, government Okana Horefa, not even a million, about hundred and something thousand. So, Rona returns a refund raise about 2.5 million to make sure for it recona who cover all these programs mahlakore le bogela nako ya gago le kitso ya gago and we hope gore batho ko magaeng ba utlile ba khona go bona gore thuso e teng ka montle e leng gore le ka ietsa le eng ke re le batsha gone re tlo khone go thusana mo maphelong a rona wanna turn back to the community and for us to now just share our stories and what we've learned today from today's discussion and any solutions that we may have in order to let the young people within our communities know that there are programs that they can use in order to upskill themselves in order to better their lives so we've got our first comment or solution from the lovely lady please tell us your name and your solution good afternoon my name is Dedeline James I'm an anti-drug activist I'm the founder of the Yellow Ribbon Foundation um, I'm a mom of a recovering addict so I know what it's like to live with someone that's uh, on, on drugs I always say that I found my passion in life I became an activist and I do what I do because of my son's addiction and this is why I'm so passionate about serving communities not only in Gauteng all across South Africa um, thank you so much to the panel and everyone who shared today I think what is important is 
is the fact that we need to have a systemic and holistic approach. I think the fight that we're up against needs government, it needs corporates, it needs NGOs, it needs your faith-based organizations as well. Everyone has a role to play towards the eradication of substance abuse in our communities. So it's about us as parents being involved in our children's lives in order for us to find solutions. Thank you so much for sharing such a beautiful story. We've got another story with um, the lady sitting also right next to you. Ma'am, please share your story or any solutions that you may have for our topic today. And she was the saying in English, once a teacher, always a teacher. Daarom moet ek gewonder, toe ek van hierdie jaar klaar maak, wat gaan ek doen? Toe hoor ek van Tek, toe benader ek vir Patrick, en ek vraag hom, wat doen jylle nou eindelijk daar? En toe het hy vir my gesê, toe het ek, omdat ek twee seens sit, wat min of meer die selde ouderdom is, wat die mannetjes is, het ek besluit om daar te gaan praat en hulle verstaan my baie beter, want ek is nog gewoond met alle ouderdomsgroepen praat en ek is gewoond met kinders praat. Kinders in die straten ook krij, kom as jy nie in die school nie, dan praat ek met hulle van die rechte goed. That's very true. We all make mistakes, what it is for us to stand up and move forward. Thank you so much for your comment. Our last comment is coming from the gentleman at table one. Really, I think that Talk Essay, I think you guys are doing a real great job. And also, uh, the people on the, on the panel, I think you guys are also doing a real great job in our community. I'd like to encourage you to keep up the good work. And also, I'd like to encourage the partners out there, the businesses, you know, the families. Thank you. Thank you so much. That deserves a round of applause. Yeah. It's wonderful to have young people that can come up and say thank you because it is so difficult to get up every day to get into whatever work that you do in order to help young people and to have that kind of appreciation is worth far more than money. So thank you. All right, so back to my panel. We're talking solutions. We got solutions from our community. It's wonderful to know what the community wants and what it is that we can do in order for the young people within this community to develop and go further. So Patrick, I will start with you. Any closing comments that can leave us with a little bit of hope that whatever it is that we do within our communities is helping the youth of South Africa. At first, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to uh, thank Talk ESA for this wonderful show. And to the families and to those addicted in general, uh, I'd like to encourage you that there is help and, and, and seek the help that you need because you don't have to suffer in silence. You can get help. Mm. Queen, with Joburg Child Welfare, How's the visibility in terms of Lona Lohor Batsbakale Tolagai? Really, Joe Beck Child Welfare and all the offices are on head office are on Eco Johannesburg, number 41 Fox Street. And we do have some sub offices where there are more in the project that's on the CBD and the Tembele Skill Center in the Eldorado Park area where we say we sing Slovo Park and Clip Town. Thank you so much, Queen and Cheryl. I'll end off with you. What should parents and family members do in order to encourage the youth to find themselves within any kind of initiative that can help upskill their skills? I think it is important that we as communities and parents continually encourage our young people. If we keep on the help, they too will have the help. And it takes a community to build up our nation. So it's each one of us have a responsibility to participate and to make a difference in the lives of our youth. It can't be reliant and dependent on government or certain um, sectors. It's a collective, it's up to an us. holistic approach that needs to be taken and we are the change we mm. want to see. Thank you to the panel and thank you to this community for allowing us to come here and have this discussion and find solutions in order for us to move forward as a country. So thank you for joining us on Talk Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And a lot of light within their lives. You can also join us on Facebook, Retalk SA, Twitter, it's at Talk SA, Instagram, it's Talk SA, SABC, or you can send us an email to Talk SA at SABC and share with us any stories or any initiatives that you have started in your neighborhood in order to make sure that the young people of that neighborhood are prospering. Until next time, right here on Talk SA, it's goodbye.